Hey folks, welcome to the Q&A. What do you think about my channel? Oh, it's pretty good. Do you like the Andy Griffith Show? I do like the Andy Griffith Show. Favorite character is Barney Fife. This is a statement. You're one of my subscribers with a lot of subs. Thanks. Well, thank you. Appreciate it. NCVA Trains. I really only got one question. What rail fanning trip turned out to be the most worthless? Basically, whatever ones I took but didn't get any trains, period. Thankfully, I barely have any like that. NMW Productions. What are your thoughts on the 2010s? 2010 and 2011 weren't all special for me. 2012 to 2016 were some of my favorite years, especially because I officially began rail fanning in 2012. 2018 was good, 2017 wasn't as good as the other years, but they all have their ups and downs. But when it comes to rail fanning, 2012 and 2016 were the best years for that. What if Larry sang Caramel Dancing? I don't know, he looked pretty silly. Even I'd look silly if I did it at Collier Yard in front of the rest of the group. What's your favorite Tales on Harrison Rails character besides your character? It's either Lily, because she reminds me of that beautiful girl from 8 Marbles, or George. Favorite Tales on Harrison Rails episode in short? My favorite classic episode was George Takes a Dive. I remember I first watched it at Richmond International Airport in 2016 while waiting for the flight, because I was going on my west trip around that time. And my favorite modern episode might be Challenge Approaching. As far as shorts, it might be burnt in the strange liquid, partly because the way you pulled off that head-on collision was impeccable. Why did you stop doing trains comedies? I lost interest. Plus, I didn't put too much effort into them anyway. You had to follow with the description to understand. Plus, I want to focus more on Rails of Highland Valley media. What else do you like besides trains? Plenty things, like various video games besides Super Mario Bros, US history, especially World War II, Definitely love mil military stuff. Also classic cars. I'd keep you here all day if I continued. See questions 5, see question 2. Okay then, moving on. If you were given 1 million dollars, what would you do? I put most of my money into savings, but if I had that much, I'd probably be able to move out and buy a house of my own, and then not have to worry about rent for at least some time. On the other hand, I would donate some of the money to charities. What do you think of PSR? I don't like it. I'm not just speaking from a rail fan perspective, but think about the railroaders affected by it. The shareholders only want money, so they force the railroads to crack down on assets. That also means laying off a lot of people too. Railroaders had life hard enough, but when they get rid of so much stuff, including labor, that makes it harder. What is your favorite steam locomotive? Have to be the NNW J-Class, because NNW 611 is the closest operational steam locomotive to where I live. Do you mind? Do you mind? Okay, Tootie. Real question. What are your top five favorite locomotives? Ooh, that's a tough one. As far as steam goes, the NNW J-Class, the UP Big Boy, PRM1, I don't know, the order just never remains steady. I can only name my top two diesels as well. EMD SD40-2 is my favorite diesel of all time, and I think the SD45 follows second. What are your favorite dog breeds? The Black Lab is my favorite. I also like German Shepherds, Boxers, and Golden Retrievers as well. What's your favorite TOSR media to date? Might have to be episode 12, Escape of a GS4. I distinctly remember watching it when I was in Florida in 2016. Did you know that GoAnimate has a Discord server? I did not. Name five heritage units you like. A 1700s my favorite because it's the only legit NS heritage unit. Because 1700 actually worked for Erie Lackawanna before. As far as Jivo and Ace heritage units, I like 8098, 8102, 1073, 1070, and 8103. Favorite rail fan spot? Around my area, it would have to be Collier Yard in Petersburg because out of NS and CSX, you can get them both there. Did you kick Caillou and Dora characters out of Rails of Highland Valley? Honestly, I think it was kind of unnecessary to add them in the first place. Of course, it was back when everyone took kid show characters too seriously. Nowadays, just think of them as neutral characters. What do you think of the Go Anime community now? I'm not associated with them anymore. How do I create Peter Griffin in Minecraft? Oh, very funny, John. I don't play Minecraft, and that question's irrelevant. Who's your favorite Thomas and Friends character? It used to be Thomas, but it's actually Gordon. 
Who's your favorite regular show character? It's a draw between Rigby, Skips, and Muscle Man. Are you a fan of NASCAR, Formula One, and IndyCar? I like NASCAR. My favorite racer was either Jeff Gordon or Tony Stewart, but both are retired. More into Denny Hamlin now. Why'd you change your name? My old username was a bit too technical, especially because I have some non-real fans who view my channel. Plus, I'm more into Eastern Railroads than the SSW. What was probably your best trip? I had a lot of good rail fanning trips in my seven years, so it's really hard to pick one out. Which fair train you've ever seen? Again, that one stumps me. How long have you been into trains? My whole life, basically. What's your favorite thing about World War II? The Battle of the Bulge might have to be my favorite land battle, and the bad weather played a part in the Germans having the upper hand. It wasn't until the weather got better when the Americans were able to make a comeback. My favorite sea battle might be the Battle of Midway, and I bet the whole Pacific fleet would have been wiped out had the Navy not broken Japanese code giving the details about their planned attack. When did you get the idea for Rails of Highland Valley? I started the series in 2015, not long after I was planning for it. How did you get into 8 Marbles? It all started in February 2013 when the Colossal D, Danny LCPD, Dakota's dad and sister and myself were at Belle Isle. The same day I caught a local with Rails of Highland Valley Jaden leading a GP40-2 and a B32-8. Later Dakota was telling us about an 8 Marbles character named Lilium and he showed her to us. I'm not gonna lie, she was pretty cute. However, I, I didn't think that for very long, because when watching more 8 Marbles videos on YouTube, I stumbled across a video showing Lily, which at the time was Lily's only screen time, and I looked at that character and couldn't help but fall in love. Then in 2016, I finally downloaded 8 Marbles to my computer, and I still love the hell of that game. The real version, of course, not so much 2X. I only like 2X for some of the characters. What they do in the game, eh, not so much. What's your favorite steam, diesel, and electric locomotive? Steam, NNW J-Class, Diesel, Baldwin, the RF-16, Fairbanks Moors, H-2466 Trainmaster, EMD, SD-40-2, GE, U-30C, Alco, RS-3. Electric, probably the GG-1. Have you ever been to Strasbourg? No. I'd love to go, though. What was the reason that caused you to start Rails of Highland Valley? I got inspired by a lot of other series like the Full Bucket Nears, the Tidewater Chronicles, Train Sim Stories, the T-Blow Pocus Line, etc, etc. And of course a lot of those series got cancelled, or in the case of the Bucket Nears and T-Blow Pocus, removed from YouTube. One day I thought I should start a series of my own, and here it is. Do you think Amtrak 406 should have a prime mover than just an F40 shell with the HEP? Because I think it should. Maybe, but on the outside it looks like a real F40 without the baggage doors on the side. At least without the motor, the horn would sound beautiful. When are you going to do Rails of Highland Valley episode 22? I don't count that as a Q&A question, but it's out if you want to go watch it. What Steam Loco would you like to bring back? If you're talking about one of those classes where none of the class members survived, I would say the NYC Hudson would be a good one. What railroads are your favorite? I like a lot of Eastern railroads including SCL, ACL, Seaboard System, PRR, New York Central, Conrail, B&O, CNO, Southern, Norfolk and Western, RF&P. Do you like steam or diesel or electric? I like steam best. What do you think of the class 50s and 37s in England? They're really cool engines. My favorite BR class diesel might be the class 40. What are your PC specs? I use Windows 10. Maybe the NNWJ class. What is your favorite heritage unit? Favorite heritage unit? Probably NS SD45-2 number 1700. Fair road, seaboard I guess, but it can always vary. Do in life, go rail fanning, play video games, watch certain TV shows, read, so on so forth. What is your favorite CSX EMD? Probably the SD40-2. Aside from being my favorite EMD locomotive, I only have three of those leading so far if you don't count your jobs or switching moves. Plus, they're steadily becoming more rare as they're being rebuilt into SD40-3s, which look almost the same on the outside, minus the cab. I plan to do a series based on your Rails of Highland Valley currently in the works. What editing software do you recommend? What I use is Sony Vegas Pro 13. It does work a lot of wonders. The only problem is, is it's expensive. It's usually priced around $250, but I got it when it was on sale. One EMD all the way. Favorite NS Heritage Unit? See the previous answers. Again, I have so many good catches, I can't decide. What's your Top 3 favorite Metro locomotives of all time. F40PH, F40C, if they still use BNE units, I would count that as number 1. BNSF, SD40-2s, SD60Ms, SD70 Max, especially executive painted ones. 
What are your top five favorite Pixar movies of all time? Opinion on Fury? I like them. I wrote them a lot when I was in second grade, even when they leased F-59s and Bombardiers from Sounders. I just wish I rail fan back then. Steam engines? If you mean operational steam locomotives, so far that includes NW 611, Western Maryland 734, and Southern 4501. Not sure if the Judy K from Cedar Point counts. For TV shows, I like stuff like Thomas the Tank Engine, Tugs, Family Guy, Regular Show, Looney Tune, Seinfeld. I'm also into a lot of older shows from the 60s, such as McHale's Navy, Car 54, Where Are You, and The Andy Griffith Show. I don't really do shoutouts. Yeah, British railways and engines are cool. Some favorites are the LNER A3s and A4s, LMS Black 5s, GWR 4073s, etc. Do you want to visit the UK? That could be cool. Thoughts on the grapevine? It's pretty cool. CSX is my favorite Class 1 along with NS. First off, the full bucket in years wasn't my creation. Luke Iverson made it, and I watched it since 4th grade. I did have a draft series in mind in 2014, but it wasn't until 2015 when it became Rails of Highland Valley. You can see a previous question for the answer. I'd rather not disclose it for the moment. Well, thank you. It's hard to say. I already answered to my favorite steam engines, but even as models, they all look spot on. Might be something from the UK. There are just too many out there. ICE by far. I'm going to go with the NSB Class 22. Probably myself. I like the CNU-2Gs. The main reason I used one as the Ghost in Episode 6 is probably because I didn't have any good models of PRR steam engines back then. Uh, come again? Either Japan or the UK. Visiting Australian could be cool too. I can't have an opinion on them if I hadn't listened to them. No. I like Need for Speed Hot Pursuit. I started liking trains because when I was a kid, I would sometimes go to places like Hunton or Staples Mill Road to watch trains, and then I got hooked on them. Plus, I watched Thomas the Tank Engine back then. My rail fanning days started after watching various rail fan videos on YouTube and thinking, oh, that looks like fun, and then I decided to try. I remember watching a lot of talking train series like The Full Buccaneers, Degera 521, The Tidewater Chronicles, Cajun Rails, Connor and Friends, stuff like that, and I got inspired. Mater. I think I already answered that. Disgraceful, said Gordon. Disgusting, put in James. Despicable, finished Henry. My whole life. I don't know, the only Cars movie I give a darn about is the first one. I used to, but I lost interest. Model trains are too expensive and they take up too much space. I'm not into that. Not into them. I'd rather see the SD90 Mac. Though I will say, I do like how they at least put the classic scheme on them. Anything Leslie, like the RS3L, RS5T, RS3K? Refer to previous answers. Classic, Chevy Bel Airs. Modern, I like Buick Centuries because I drive one. It's not really mine, I just use them more than my parents do. Toyota Solera, Chevy Malibus. Tough one. I think it depends on the era. If I went to the 1940s, possibly the PRR or the UP. 1950s, maybe PRR or NNW. 60s, that's a really hard call. 70s, probably any of the Conrail predecessors. 80s, Conrail itself. 90s, that's a tough call. But anything before the 2000s were glorious because you had all those railroads and motive power and every era had great stuff to be. If I could tr time travel for more than a day, I probably wouldn't come back for at least a year. I believe I already answered that. I like the SD40-2s, the SD45Ms were unique as well. 
Like I said, 1700. I think I already answered that. Quite alright, can't complain. I'm not into wide cab rebuilds, so I'd go with Ad Ennis's Admiral cabs, I guess. They're alright. I prefer older SD70 Aces, though. I think that question has also been answered. That is a very commonly asked question. M1, K4, T1, J1, I1, SA? No. I think I already answered that. Answer that too. EMD, SD40-2, GE, C40-8. I think I already answered that too. I'm not really into model trains anymore, but I liked using N-Scale. Probably the Navy. Oh, anything, I guess. Uh, I don't even want to talk about it. The only ones I'm actually satisfied with, really, are my woodshop videos, as well as the one I made for history class. I'm more into Eastern Railroads. Probably 8098. Oh, yes, that'd be super cool. I'd give to see that day. Oh, that's a tough one. Don't think so. I like the Hudsons. It's kind of disappointing, especially because I have an aunt who lives in Noblesville, whereas where the old museum was. Has to be myself. Maybe Seaboard? No. I think he's doing fine. I've seen some of it. It's good. Don't count on it. Yeah. Because text-to-speech voices are robotic and don't display any emotions. I was hype. I love the UP big boys. It's great to see 4014 roaming the rails again. It's a Sony Handycam HDR CX405. When I was real little, I'd rather not disclose them here. If you have Facebook or Discord, you can join the groups for the series I made on the respective sites. It's really sad. What makes it sadder is that I never got to catch an NSSD60 leading before it was too late. It was the UPSD70 Ace from JR. Trains Driver Edition. I already covered that. It was a unit in Bearcat BC75 XLT scanner. I switched to a Kenwood last year. None. That's a tough one. Oh boy, I have so many favorites it's hard to pick one out. Again, too many to choose from. My favorite genre is country music, especially from Johnny Cash, Alan Jackson, Hank Williams Jr., Brooks and Dunn, Johnny Trouble Trio, etc. Buckingham Branch. I have. They're awesome. Basically, whomever sets a very bad example for rail fans and where their toxic behavior makes you not want to go near them. One example is Leonard F. Shaner from Pennsylvania. From what I heard, he trespasses, steals photos. One time he put grease on the tracks at Steamtown National Historic Site, causing the train to stall on the rails. Because of his actions, he's been banned from every railroad in Pennsylvania.